Welcome, this is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 2 end of course practice test number one, question number 64. Which expression must be subtracted from 10r minus 7 to result in the quantity 3r plus 11? The reality is the question can make you jump at little false ghosts a little bit because it does say subtracted. So you might think, hey, I'm just going to subtract this thing together and everything's going to be great for me. No. Uh, the word from is important here. And the reason the word from is important, it means I'm going to start here and it says to result in. To result in it means equal. So I'm going to start at 10r minus 7 and then I'm going to get to 3r plus 11 but I've got to cross some sort of mathematical bridge to get there. Let's write this out a little bit. I can't write lowercase letters very well so I know handwriting and I'm an adult. It is what it is. Anyway, so I need to figure out what I need to get uh, go through to get from 10 down to 3r. So if I just think, like, what can I subtract 10 from to get to 3? Well, in my brain, that screams 7, doesn't it? Oh, the whole thing's going to be subtracted. I'm sorry. So the signs that you put inside your um, parentheses are actually going to be different than what they are because you need to subtract a positive or subtract a negative if, I'm, if I have to add a number. So in this case, I'm going to do 10 minus 7 r, and that'll get me down to 3r. So this 13 r business is uh, kind of nuts, I think. If I was trying to get, if I wanted to do 10, if I was trying to get to negative 3, yeah, I'd do 13, but I'm not trying to live like that. The other side of it is I need to get from negative 7 all the way up to positive 11, which means in this case I'm going to increase, so I need to subtract a negative here because I want to add. So I've got this subtract here and then this one over here, that gets me to a plus. So I need to think, what do I need to get to to go from negative 7 to 11? Well, negative 7 to 0 is 7, and then from 0 to 11 is 11. So if you add 11 and 7 together, you should get 18. So if I subtract a negative 18 from negative 7, that will get me all the way up to the 11 that I want to get to. If I take 10 and I subtract 7, it gets me to the 3 that I'm looking for. So based on all of this mess, my final answer is 7R minus 18, so the correct answer to number 64 is F.